I was asked how to find the atomic number for protium, deuterium, and tritium. These are all isotopes of hydrogen. So if you look at each atomic model here for each isotope, you'll notice something that's similar. All of them have one proton. So the atomic number, that's the number of protons. So for protium, the atomic number is one because it has one proton. For deuterium, the atomic number is one, one proton. And finally, tritium, one proton, you guessed it. The atomic number, number of protons is one. When you look at the periodic table, the atomic number for hydrogen, that's just one because it has one proton. What's different for these isotopes of hydrogen, it's the mass number. So the mass number, that's the number of protons plus neutrons. So for protium, we just have a proton. So the mass number is one. And we write that here above the atomic number, the number of protons. For deuterium, we have a proton and a neutron. One plus one, that gives us a mass number of two. The atomic number still stays the same though. And then for tritium here, we have one plus one plus one, we have three, that's the mass number. And the atomic number for tritium, that's one. We only have one proton. What you'll note, the periodic table has an average atomic mass, and it's really close to one. The reason is, is that 99%, more than 99% of hydrogen atoms are protium. And the mass number for protium, that's just one. So this number is really close to the mass number for protium since it's more common. We do have a little bit of deuterium and tritium, and that's what makes this number a little bit bigger than one. But in answer to our question, the atomic number for protium, deuterium, and tritium, that's the same as the number of protons, which is one for each isotope of hydrogen. This is Dr. Big. Thanks for watching.